and welcome back to my channel Big Buds Gaming. In tonight's video we have some updates to some existing mods in Farming Sim 17 and we also have a couple of new mods. First we have an update to the Black Sheep Modding Hook Truck Pack. Then we have an update to this little crone um, baler. We have a new slurry tanker and water tanker. And we have a um, some tools for telehandlers. There is a, I think that's a fertilizer spreader. And we have an update to these trailers. Something to do with the wheels. Right, we're going to be looking at the slurry tank and the water tank and seeing what they've done to the hook truck. So you can choose any colour for the rims blue, brown, or standard chassis. find the water tank under animals and the slurry tank under slurry spreaders. So we've now got the option of adding bull bars and a spoiler like the BSM 950. Any colour of your choice on designs and then with the dis with the second design we've got with hook lift support or with semi support and they've also added a third type of tire which is forestry so a different tire track tire tread so I'm just going to purchase one of each As you can see straight away the hook truck is now longer than the semi version. It's an axle length longer. Here's the new water tanker and slurry tanker. in the arm or extending the arm. The forestry tyres are the ones on the right. The blue tyres have the wide and these ones with the green wheels are the standard tyres. working dashboard. Not sure if this was fully working before this update. I think it was, but I'm not 100%. Been a little while since I used these trucks, as the steering was at atrocious. But they have also apparently fixed the steering, so it's now got a tighter turning circle. And from just driving around, driving it around here, it does feel like it does have twice a turning circle. Obviously the semi version will probably have a greater turning circle because it is shorter. Now we're just going to hook up a trailer. It's also got the addition of a PTO on the back of it, so you can run sewing machines or 
balers or manure spreaders anything that any machine that requires a PTO you'll now be able to use this truck for so I'm just dithering about what trailer I want to buy and in the end it's going to be the BSM zipper the semi zipper so I'll just buy one of them truck still has the retractable axle so you can still make one set of wheels raise up time this was updated the hook lift version also had a fifth wheel for attaching semi trailers even though it wasn't visibly there it still was there and we're just going to see that it is still there <coughs> on the hook truck version Also, oddly, on the non hook lift versions, when you hold LB or L1, it does give you the option to retract and extend the arm, even though there isn't one on the semi versions. But as you can see, the hook lift version can still connect to semi trailers too. And we're just going to buy another one so we can have a look at the gap distance between the rear of the cab and the front of the trailer with both versions of the truck. As I could tell, the only difference is the position of the axles. There does seem to be the same amount of gap between the cab and the trailer. Obviously the only difference is the one that's longer, one axle sits further back towards the trailer. And the shorter one, the axle is one axle's forward of the trailer. The gap between them to me looks very similar. And yeah, now they fixed the steering issue. I'm going to be using these trucks a lot more often now. They do have a lot of customization options. And this was just me seeing if the invisible arm would attach to the hook lift box grain container, but it didn't. It says extend arm, retract arm. No, the arm isn't there. No attach option came up. Oh wow, okay. On um, watching this back, I have just noticed the attach option did briefly appear, but as 
I wasn't actually do noticing that during the recording. I'll have to do a little separate one on that. But that's okay because I've got a couple of other items of, to look at in a separate video that have been added today. <coughs> So the option is there for all-wheel steering and none. Retract the axle. Do it on all versions of the truck. And this is just a quick look at the PTO on the back of the truck with a fertiliser spreader attached to it I hope you found this video useful if you have please drop a like and if you're new to my channel hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos